Hello, hello, my loves. How are you? All right, let's jump right on in because we are on a time limit. So I got my paint mat out because I want to be able to put um, the glue on this bottle without it getting everywhere and ruining my mat. So I want to make sure that we are live and in living color before we um, continue on. I'm just sitting out here talking to myself and y'all don't hear me because this is our first, first um, video for the month uh, or for the year actually. Uh, so hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, just making sure that life is great. And I hope you all had a wonderful new year. I am excited to be with you and have a lot in store for us coming up this new year. So here we go. Yes, this is a different time. It's not what I want. This is absolutely a different time than when we normally get together um, because I have to be at a rehearsal in a few, uh, in an hour. So I had to come on a little bit earlier today. Hey, Lisa, how are you? How are you? I had to come on just a uh, 45 minutes earlier. I guess I shouldn't say a little bit. Uh, that's a lot earlier. But um, I didn't want to not come on at all today. Especially with it being the first day of the year, right? We got to get together the first day of the year and start prepping. We can't do every day if we don't do the first day, right? You're good. I'm glad to hear that, honey. I am glad to hear that. So yes, I am. And you'll probably hear me say this a couple of times because people will wonder like, Sharon, it's not one o'clock. Our time did not change. Our time zone stayed the same. But um, I don't know. I'm doing good. I am doing good. I am doing wonderful. We are going to bling this bottle out today. So I'm trying to make sure I get enough uh, glitter on here or enough epoxy. I'm just using, um, why do I say epoxy? This is Mod Podge. I'm using Gloss Mod Podge and we're running it around this entire bottle. I did not take the label off, so I want to be very careful around the label because I don't want the glue to go over the label. We want the label to show as it is, so I'm being very careful around the label so that we don't get glue on that. And I'm just going to take the back half first and do all of that so that my Mod Podge doesn't dry up too fast because I see over here it's starting to dry. Um, we're going to do the back part of it and then we'll turn and do the front so that we don't lose our Mod Podge so that it doesn't dry before we get the entire bottle done. This is a fairly large bottle so we want to make sure wipe that glue that got on there that we um don't let the glue dry on it while we're working so we're just working sections and it'll be important to make sure that since we have to work in sections that we get our my patch smooth as we can get it so that there are no real big um, my patch lines those lines 
do tend to show through your glitter if you don't have it smooth out well. Now this is going to be a great gift for Valentine's, someone's special birthday, um, almost anything that you want to gift somebody, you can create this bottle. Can you see what I'm doing? You can create this bottle for them. And gift it to them. Now the thing about this is, is just making sure that you don't allow your Mod Podge to dry on you. So you want to work fast. And you want your Mod Podge to be as smooth as you can get it without big clumps in any place. So that is important as well. And yes, we're going to go over it with a second coat of glitter. However, I like to make sure that my base coat is smooth as I can get it because that just helps. That just helps us. So Beverly or Lisa, I am, um, I don't know if you remember a couple of back in November, I had shared with the group that I am, that I, I tried out for the musical color purple here in my city and I was cast in the play and I am one of the church ladies. Here we go with the glitter. We're going to glitter this back half and I'm using this uh, really light fine sparkle glitter that is in my daughter's collection. So here we go. Just put it over everything, catching the glitter on a piece of paper so that we don't lose our glitter. Um, anyway, I've got, I was cast in the play and I am one of the church ladies. And for the next um, five weeks, we'll be doing rehearsals and it's every day. The rehearsals are every day but they're also on Sunday at two. So I have to go to rehearsal um, at two o'clock, which normally we do our show from one to two. And so that's why I've changed. Thank you. That's why for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have to do a little bit earlier. I'm gonna ask for your patience with me while we do our show a little earlier so that I can um, go to rehearsal. So you can see, I want to dump this. Let me, let me dump this glitter back into. I'm just hitting this on the table. You can see, oh, look at that's looking pretty already. You can see in some areas where the Mod Podge started to dry a little bit more. But we will hit those when we go and do our second round. And we'll make that um, better. So I'm going to knock off the excess. Sorry about the bumping there. Knock off that excess and put this glitter back into our bottle. And then we will start the rest of it. So that's why I have to go a little earlier for the next couple of weeks. Um, just to make sure that I get to rehearsal on time. Because if we go to two, there's no way that I can get out of here and be there by two. So um, if you would just forgive me for this season in my life while I um, fulfill a bucket dream. Because I've always wanted to do a play at our civic theater here in my community. And this is one that um, it's a um, phenomenal opportunity for me. It's an all black cast. And um, it's just really an opportunity that I didn't think that I'd get a chance to have, but I do have it. And so we have to do a little bit earlier for the, um, for the, um, see if that fits it, for our show. Otherwise, I would have to 
not do our show, which I didn't want to not do that. I I wanted to keep our consistency that we have with getting together every week. I mean, frankly, I feel like I missed enough already with the holidays and being out of town and um, all that great stuff. Come here, let me see. Hold on one minute. My daughter wants me to look at something for her. I'm trying to make for her. Okay. Push that down in there. That needs. Hi, everybody. Okay, she says hi, everybody. Okay, that gives me an idea of what I need to do. Let's pull it out of there. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate you. Bye, everybody. She says bye, everybody. <laughs> she has a YouTube, or not a YouTube channel. She has a TikTok channel that she focuses on being a um, aspiring musician. I think that's what her genre is, an aspiring musician. All right, so this is why I wish that I could have gotten the whole bottle done prior because it doesn't look as smooth when you have to make these intersections of trying to glitter and um, the glitter that's already on there. You don't want to damage the glitter that's already there. You don't want to ruin it. And this bottle is a big bottle, so I probably should be holding it so I'm not ruining it on the bottom. But okay, let's put a little bit more glitter on here. Do you drink champagne? This is pink Moscato champagne, it says. It's probably a really yummy flavor, but too sweet for me. I like dry wines. All right, so here we go. We're going to glitter again. Starting, oh, need my paper. Starting at the top again. Glitter, glitter, glitter. In the bottom. Get in there before it gets wet. All right. That's what our bottle is looking like right now. That's very pretty in some spots. Isn't that sparkly? I don't like how that's looking. So we will definitely have to fix this on our next round. And what I will do is make sure that we start at the front and make sure that the front has all the glitter, all the epoxy on it or my Podge on it so that we at least the front, because the look at how nice the back looks. We don't want the front to have all that yucky yucky on it and I still spilled on the table even with keeping my papers here so let's put this back in oh, Jesus I'm making a mess with this glitter I guess that's what you do though all right so let me sweep this up here all this little glitter All right, and I'm going to take my heat gun and I am going to move the glitter out of the way so I don't spill that. And I'm going to help this dry by just adding some heat to it, which of course is blowing the glitter everywhere. When I tell you that blue glitter everywhere, that blue glitter everywhere. Yeah, glitter is a mess. It always gets every place except for the places you want it to get. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? It gets everywhere but the places you want it to get. 
Now I'm going to take one of my chip brushes here and I'm just going to over the garbage point can brush off all the excess glitter that didn't actually stick to the Mod Podge in over the garbage so that this doesn't get everywhere. And you can see now, look at when I brush off the excess glitter, look at the places, the holes that came into the glitter. Now, if this had given us great coverage before, that would have been beautiful leaving that just like that. But now we need to go in and actually um, put our second coat on. I'm going to start at the front so the front can be smooth like the back is. And I'm going to try to work fast and leave the glitter, leave the Mod Podge a little heavier so that it doesn't dry so fast. I think that was my problem that I had the Mod Podge too thin in some places, which you don't want it to be a thick clunk because you saw what happens if you have too thick of an um, area. But we definitely don't want it to be too thin because then it dries and there's uh, no glue in those spaces or no, yeah, and no glitter will get in those spaces. So we definitely need to get the right consistency, the right balance of Mod Podge versus um, non-Mod Podge. So we'll just keep doing this and then in a minute we will put on, <laughs> right? In a minute, Lisa will add on our um, second coat of my patch. Now I, I want to be careful here at the label. I got a little bit too much there because I don't want glitter on the label. I want the label to still be exposed, but I got a big thick line. So I'm just going to keep going over that until I can get that off of there. Let's see if I can take my finger and wipe some of the excess off. Good. Run it along down the... Something's in my Mod Podge there. What's that? Okay. We're looking good. We're doing good on the top at least. It's looking phenomenal. Oh, crap. Look at that. Don't do that. Definitely want to um, watch to make sure when I put on my my patch. Look at how I caused that to run. Do you see that? These things, it looks easy when you're thinking about it. Like this is, oh, this will be an easy project. But it's, you still have to take your time and do it right. I mean, it's easy in reference to it only takes a few products few pieces of material, to, um, you know, items, glitter, a bottle of wine, and um, some Mod Podge, but you still got to get it on there the right way or else it will ruin your project as we're seeing here. And of course, as always, everything that's going to happen bad happens when we're live. But that, that's a good thing because then you guys need to see, um, that way you can see like what takes place isn't just you, it's all crafters because I'm not an expert. I am just having fun hanging out. Um, so I don't want to make it like I'm an expert. But all crafters in, encounter headaches. <laughs> Let's say that headaches when you're crafting, where none of us are uh, are excluded from running into a headache here and there as we're crafting something. There is no exclusion. Now there is preparation, practice and preparation perfects your gift and so we can prepare but we're not excluded from trials right we 
you can prepare. And I am sorry that I'm not looking at the comments so much, trying to make sure that I get this covered. So here we go. Let's try it now. Let's lay our paper out again. And I'm going to start at the front. And I'm going to do this sideways because I like to have it fall onto my paper on the long end. I definitely want the front to be beautiful. I mean, I want the back to be nice too, but if I had to choose between the two, the back is the back, right? Let's turn that and let's shake it on to being careful on this label because it did have a little run and we don't want that run to get glitter on it. All right, before I stomp it, I'm going to put it on this extra piece of paper here and I'm going to dump this back into the jar. That way this doesn't poof out and fly everywhere with the stomping. And let's take this piece that we have, let's drop that. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely gorgeous. I see a few areas where we could improve it, but let's get rid of this glitter first. Let's get rid of this glitter first. Before we do anything, when I go into the play rehearsal, they're going to wonder what kind of extracurricular activity I do with all this glitter all over me. All right, I'm cleaning my label off. That's gorgeous. That's going to be a beautiful gift. I'll Tap it again, try to get some of the excess off of there. That's going to be beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is because we are on a time limit and we want to finish the project today, I'm going to try to use the heat gun again and accelerate the drying time on the Mod Podge. Because it was a little thicker, it will take it a little bit more. Um, time, but we don't want to touch this without it being dry because it will cause the um, Mod Podge areas to clunk, right? To clump up. So we don't want to touch it while it's drying um, so that it won't have that ugly clumping look. So let's go ahead and use the heat gun and dry it, help dry it a little bit more over the garbage. I'm going to do that so that um, gl the glitter that blows off will blow at least into the garbage. So here we go. I'm over here drying this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. As it's drying, it's becoming iridescent. As long as I don't drop this whole bottle of wine. Can you see how horrible that would be if I dropped this bottle of wine? I guess it um I guess it would fall in the garbage can, but it could be a really ugly scenario scene if I drop the bottle of wine. Or champagne or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So I can still see places where the um 
glitter is kind of patchy and that's all right we're going to leave that alone what we're going to do now is i want to make this um kind of what do i want to call it i want to make it kind of ombre if you would so i am going to along the bottom i'm going to do some more mod podging this time i'm going to spray my podge out on my little tray here on my little Oh, gosh, that's too much light. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to um, put some Mod Podge on the base of my little tray. Yep, you can see. I'm going to go light because it is not quite dry all the way. And the clumping that we talked about um, could start happening. So I'll go really light with my brush. But I'll put the Mod Podge on here. Just not with a lot of force on the handle or on the pressing down of adding Mod Podge to it. Not a lot of force at all. Not a lot of force at all. I'm just going to run around the base. Trying to stay even. I know the labels are not the same size, so... I'm not going to try to use the label in the back as a measurement because those are that one is shorter than the one in the front. But trying to stay even with how I apply my Mod Podge around this base. Okay. And now I'll take a darker pink. There we go. And I'll bring you in some so you can see it better. This one's Pink Panther by my um, daughter's collection of glitters that we used to do. And I'm going to sprinkle Pink Panther on the bottom. of that base. There is the Pink Panther. Just a little bit more color on there. And we'll let that dry for a second while we create our ombre mixture. We're going to add Pink Panther and the original pink that we're using together in this little cup I call these our little own little mixes oh that's the side of that. I got glitter all over my hands shaking it off over there okay let's mix that together That's not a bad little mix. And we're just going to add a little bit of this around. Not much and not very high. We're just going to add it to maybe that amount, right? Not much and not very high. And it won't be all over because you can see the labels help. Um, prevent us from being able to go all over the cup or over the bottle here. Just a little bit down in there because of the gap between where the label is and our base. So we can put a little down inside of there. And just real light brush again. You see that? real light brush again so that it doesn't destroy the darker pink glitter that we put on and bring it up into the there we go bring it up into the 
Real light. Real light. All right, and now let's put our ombre mixture on that. Oh yeah, no paper underneath there. Real smart. Lisa, you're supposed to tell me I'm missing my paper. Boom and boom. There we go. There we go. Now to finalize this whole thing, I am going to just kind of stroke my brush lightly up into this area. Look at that Mod Podge getting on there, clumping it off. Bit too heavy. Lightly stroke my brush up in this area. I don't want it real heavy. I just want to do a light. Um, dragging that up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my glitter mixture that I made. And I'm going to come up way high. You see me in the camera. I'm way high. I just want some sprinkles to fall on it. I don't want it to be real heavy. I just want some sprinkles to fall on it from that mixture. That bringing it up high like that will help me. <laughs> That's okay, Lisa. Thank you though. <laughs> Bring it up high like that, honey, will help me um, just kind of get a fairy dusting, if you would, of that glitter. So now let's do it on this side too. Ugh, this thing is heavy. Let's do it on this side. Get enough Mod Podge on there. Bring it up. Not high. I'm shaking it so the bottle is so heavy my hand is shaking. I don't have a whole lot of strength in my hands anyway, but. I'm going to drag it up in there. And then putting our little glitter back this time and going super high. And that didn't go high enough as it dropped all on there. All right, that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Let's clean this up. Let's clean up our mess and then we'll get ready to finalize everything and seal this baby up. I'm watching my time big time here because I got a hard stop at 1.15. So I'm watching us big time. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I am glittering all over. Me and Lisa are glittering all over. Thank you for jumping in. I was telling Lisa earlier that I have to come a little bit earlier. Um, for the next five weeks, I'm probably going to be coming on about 1 or about 12.15-ish. Somewhere in there because um, remember that I had tried out for the color purple plate and I got cast in the plate. Uh -huh. Hold on a minute. I just noticed something here. I got cast in the play. And um, rehearsals are every day of the week. Let me move you out some. There you go. Rehearsals are every day of the week, um, including Sundays. And on Sundays, the rehearsals are at 2. So I will have to leave earlier. So instead of canceling our time together for the next five weeks, I'm going to just do it a little bit earlier, probably at like 12, 12, 15, um, so that we don't lose our time together. 
And I do apologize for the inconvenience and understand totally if no one is able to do that, modify your day because I know it's Sunday and that's when people spend time with their families. So I completely get that. Um, but in order for us to still be together, that's the way that I have to do it in terms of my schedule. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to do the mixture that Lisa talked taught me, which is take a little bit of water and glitter and montage and put them together. Look at that mess I just made again. And put them together and seal your glitter in. This whole little thing is probably full of glitter. And it was. All right. So, yes, I'm early. I came in early. I had to come on early. I'm going to leave you guys early because I got to get to rehearsal by 2 o'clock. You're supposed to be there before the time that it actually starts. Rehearsal will start at 2. And it's about a 25-minute drive for me on a good day. So... Let me add a little bit of water to this mixture. And let's see what we get here. This is to seal it in and to make sure that our Mod Podge doesn't, or our um, glitter doesn't get all over the place. And it's just a water Mod Podge base um, to seal it. And I'll use a little bit more Mod Podge because I think I put a little bit too much water in it. And I will mix that all together. And this is going to be beautiful. All right. Now, I'm rushing. And that's probably not a good thing. So if you attempt to do this at home... You don't have to go as fast as I've gone in this limited time that we're together. Use your time, right? Take your sweet baby Jesus time. Let each Mod Podge layer dry in between itself. You will get a much better result if you do that. We don't have the time on the show to allow the layers to dry in between. But pro I promise you, if you do... You will love the results. You will absolutely like it much better than rushing through your project. So take your time if you do this at home. In between each layer, allow the Mod Podge to dry. Come back. Scrape off the excess glitter that didn't stick. Um, or, you know, take a, a brush and brush off the excess glitter that didn't stick. And then um, go to your next layer. If I had the time within this hour to do that, I could show you. But I am showing you the base steps to create this look. And then I want you to take your time. This bottle should, could, and if done right, take you at least, at least um, an hour and a half or better. And that really is going to be can, dependent on how big your bottle is, how many layers of glitter you use, and how thick you layer your Mod Podge on when you glitter. Okay? So what the biggest thing, take away from what I am saying is take your time. You don't have to do it within an hour. If you want to give something like this to a person, Give yourself plenty of time to allow it to dry. All right. Capiche? Capiche. Give yourself plenty of time to allow it to dry. And light as a feather as you work on the second layers of Mod Podge. Just, I got my brush just barely rubbing against everything 
just kind of light as a feather. I'm also watching to make sure that because the Mod Podge water mixture is more liquefied that I don't have any runs and that I don't allow too much of that mixture to get onto the labels so that it doesn't run down there too. All right, light as a feather with your hands and mix it together. Can you guys see anything what I'm doing? You can use hairspray to seal the glitter in. Oh, okay. You know, that's one thing I don't have. Out of all the stuff that I have to craft with and to um, do hair and all that, I don't have any hairspray. And now the reason that I didn't want to take the labels off, because you could take your labels off and cover them up. I think the label with them being pink just feeds right into the um, theme of the bottle. And um, so I didn't want to cover that up. I wanted to show as well. But you could absolutely decor the entire bottle remove the labels I mean it's crafting you can do whatever you want to do right it's yours you own it no one can tell you what it needs to be I also think that keeping the labels on for me is great because as you gift this out people will know what kind of what the flavor of the beverage is okay so there's that I've used that up I'm going to set this aside so that I don't spill that over because today that seems to be the name of the game. Making an extra large mess. Let's move this out of the way. Shake off glitter off my hands and off my clothes. They're going to think I run an extracurricular activity with all of this glitter all over me. Let's dry it just a little bit with our thing. I don't want to go too close to it with the heat because I want it to not pucker and melt. Okay, now one thing I want to show you guys, and this is it. When you use the, um, when you seal the Mod Podge with, um, when you seal Mod Podge with the water mixture, it does kind of take away the um, shine of the glitter a little bit. So what I am going to do with my glitter on the one that's on the um, light holes, the salt and pepper shaker, like if you would, I'm just going to feather dust it while it's still kind of wet and allow some of that sparkle to come back onto it. Just a feather dusting of it while it's still kind of wet and allow that sparkle to come back in. And you'll say, well, Sharon, then why seal it? Because it's going to have glitter here and there. Not as much. It won't lose as much. But it won't lose all of its sparkle, right? I mean, why use glitter if you're not going to have it? But you don't want a person to pick it up and their whole hand be full of glitter because of that. So that's why I'm just feather dusting it really light with glitter and allowing that to be on it. And that will dry in the um, mixture. That will dry in our sealing our mixture that we sealed it up with. Now we are done with glitter. We are done with that project part. 
I'm going to clean this stuff up really quick. I'm going to put my paintbrush back into the water so that my Podge doesn't dry inside of there. Inside of my brush. Wipe my hands off. Allow this to dry another little round. Okay, so it's still wet, and that's why it looks more white. When it dries, it will be more iridescent, and you'll be able to see the wine behind it because of the type of glitter that we're using. You can see right here, this is kind of dry. So that's what it will look like through the whole bottle. But in the meantime, one last thing that I want to do is bling it out. And this is some wrap that I received from Lisa. Higgs, who is on here with us, and we're just going to take a layer of one thin layer of this wrap, and we're going to bling it around the neck, okay? Y'all okay with that? You guys okay with that for me? We're going to bling this just around the neck of it, because why not? We're bling girls, right? Bling girl always. So I'm going to pick this up. One piece. Can you guys see that? Is it so blurry? Am I too far away? That's the bottle. I don't want to lay it down because it's not dry yet, you guys. I don't want to lay it down. It's not dry, so I want it. I mean, I don't want all this work to be for not on all this material that we've used. Glitter Mod Podge, Glitter Mod Podge, all that. I don't want our time and all the material to be for not. So let's not lay it down. All right, so I'm just going to run this bling around the edge of the bottle. And I'm not going to stretch it because if you stretch it, it will go back to its original um, original place. And that will mess up your project, right? You, you'll end up with a place where there's a gap. So be careful if you use these bling wraps, which they are absolutely beautiful and I love them. And I try to get all the bang I can out of them. Don't stretch it. Just lay it down onto your project. Right? And then I will use my scissors and I will trim the end. And this is self-adhesive. This adhesive on it is awesome. So you don't have to worry about adding any glue to it either. And there is the bling around the neck. I can't wait for that to dry and you guys see what it looks like. But we're going to bling out the side too. And we're just going to cut this. We're going to bling the label out. And then I'm going to show you the presentation that I will give this away. Now, I can't ship wine through the UPS. Well, I guess you can, but you have to do a bunch of things to do it. So I will not be gifting it on here. Because as heavy as this bottle is and all the stuff that goes along with liquid perishables, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get, I don't want to get involved in all that. And I don't want to get in trouble for distributing alcohol. So... I'm going to bling, put this on the label, hold it down. I'm trying not to get my hands on the Mod Podge because it's still, the mixture is still wet. So I'm trying not to touch that.
But here we go. Oh, I touched it somewhere anyway. I see it on my hands. Okay. Again, when you do this yourself, don't rush. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Give yourself plenty of time to finish this project. You will appreciate yourself for that. Give yourself plenty of time to finish this project. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? I turned off one of the lights again so you guys can see it better. Um, Cassandra, Lisa and Lisa are on here. They've heard me say this before. But remember that I auditioned for the color purple. I got the role. Rehearsals are on Sundays at 2. So I'm going to be coming a little bit earlier for the next couple of weeks. Um, so that we can stay together um, without me having to miss doing the show. Um, while I go to rehearsal for the next couple of weeks. So today I came on at... Um, at one fifty or at twelve fifteen, I think next week I'll try to do it at twelve just to make it an even hour, and that'll give me time to be able to get out of um, the house and get to the rehearsal hall on time um, for the play. And I know it's different in a change, and I didn't realize that we would be having Sunday rehearsals when I signed up for it, which is okay. I mean, we got to practice, right? And everybody works, so. Um, and I'm having a time of my life, you guys, doing this is, it's not really work. It is so much fun to me going in. And my role is the church lady. I'm one of the church ladies. So I'm like a messy, messy Betsy. I'm always in the business, if you would. And um, I, I'm super excited that I got to be a part of it. Remember, I told you guys that. I didn't care if they made me a um, stage hand or whatever, as long as I could be a part and I would be the best stage hand that they ever had. So there it is with the glitter around it or the bling around the logo. We're going to just leave it just like that. It's still wet, so it has a white hit hue to it, but we will allow it to dry. I messed that part up down there. Not going to worry about it. We will allow that to dry and not touch it anymore. And I will show you um some point in time what it looks like or what it turned out to be before we're done now letting this dry clearing up all my mess i made this box for it and this box says shine like a diamond be amazing the world is yours your uh treat yourself with happiness Dreaming and hold on to your passions. It's got all these words of affirmation on the side of this box And this has a clear opening on the lid and even inside I put the words of affirmation and so the bottle Will just fit down inside of here and Then this will close because it's not dry. I am not going to do it yet but I will show pictures on TikTok on um, Instagram if you follow me there and I will put a picture up in the community tab of um, YouTube so that you guys can see how it ultimately turned out once it dried. But that's going to be the presentation box that I will put it in as well. And gift that out just like that. Little handle. I love it. I love it. So we're getting there. We'll let it dry. It looks beautiful. It's easy peasy. Well, it could be easy peasy if you didn't make mistakes like I did. But it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And um, it just is a level up for a gift. I would love receiving something as pretty as this. I wouldn't throw the bottle away. I drink the wine, but I wouldn't throw the bottle away once I was done. And hopefully that's what... Um, that's what the individual that I will gift this to will do with it as well. So that is it for today. I will give you a tutorial on the box. I sure will. I sure will. I made that last night. I created the template and everything to make this with. 
and it will fit a um, 12, 12 by 4 size bottle. So you can put any kind of bottle in there. It'll fit a 12 by 4 size bottle. You can reduce it down to, if you need to, but it definitely fits a 12 by 4 because that's the size that I made it for. All right. Well, that is it for us today. I will see you next week and maybe one or two. Well, I, that would, I won't be able to come through the week. Uh, yesterday, last night was my first time being able to come down in the craft room because all week long we have been uh, rehearsing and I don't get home till like 1030. So I will see you next time. How about that? I'll see you next time. And I got to get out of here. Love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much. And for the next five weeks, 12 o'clock, if you're available. If you're not, I'll have the video on. Please go back and watch the replay. And thank you for being so supportive of my channel. Happy New Year's. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.